Hey guys, what's going on? So today's comic book review will be rated R. Um, this will contain violence, nudity, and coarse language, so you have been warned. This is not a normal comic review. This is not a Marvel. This is not a DC book. This is an image book, and so you know if it's image, they're going to do some, uh, some pretty good stuff. Um, so f I'm warning you guys now, um, this, is, this book is for mature readers. Um, but without further ado, let's just get into it. This one is called Bomb Queen. Now, this is the deluxe edition. This is volume one. This collects um, Bomb Queen volume one and two in one great hardcover. Uh, it is written and illustrated by Jamie Robinson. So there's a cover. That's, uh, that's Bomb Queen. Now, when I picked this up, I was not aware of what I was getting into. Because this thing was wrapped up tight <laughs> with plastic, and um, I picked it up at my local comic book shop. I got it for pretty cheap uh, for an image. Um, yeah, how much did I pay for this one? I uh, it's a twenty four ninety nine US. Um, that's not what I paid for it. I think I got it on sale. Um, so, but it does warn you it is an adult book. Um, on the back it says uh, Newport City is protected by a villain. Uh, in the world of supervillains, there is one city unlike any other, the haven for the sick and twisted, a town where all the illicit desire in, is common curse, uh, currency, and holding it all in check is an evil villain, an extremely vile dictator called the Bomb Queen. For ten years, she has ruled over Newport City. Supervillains are banned. The prisons are closed. Chaos and mayhem are commonplace, which is, which is just how the civilians like it. But as with every villain, there's a hero. And in this upside down town where crime is celebrated, the line of superheroic do gooders is a mile long. What a supervillain to do. And it just gives you a little bio of uh, Jamie Robinson. Uh, he has created one of the most unique story environments in comic book industry. Superhero platforms are flipped on their head. Uh, comic traditions are tossed out the window and nobody is safe from the zany villainous black humor so dark and shocking you think the sun went out yeah <laughs> so this one um, collects uh, M uh, WMD Women of Mass Destruction and uh, Volume 2 Dirty Bomb so without further ado let's just crack this open and you guys can see uh, how dirty this book actually gets <laughs> And it does get pretty pretty graphic so I will warn you so basically bomb queen is just you know she is a villain she does what she wants uh, civilians love her and they hate her but she gets away with a shit ton of stuff uh, she's getting interviewed here <clears throat> and uh, basically there's a the woman here interview and she said some shit that bomb queen didn't like and bomb queen killed her <laughs> and it says applause, everyone applause. So, yeah. Then they got st uh, people like the mayor and, pol and politicians. They don't like her. They don't like the way those cities run. They want her out. Um, they hire, uh, in this font, first of all, they hire a super, superhero uh, basically to come into town and try to kill her or get rid of her. Uh, some of them, they, I, I uh, okay, spoiler. I'm spoiling in three, two, one. It, it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. Um, I don't think this series lasted too, too long. I think there was only um, like four, five maybe volumes. So, but uh, I only got this one. I haven't seen any of the other ones lately, or I would have picked them up. Yeah. So yeah, there is nudity. Lots and lots of nudity. It's really good. I like it. Uh, decent art. Uh, great stories. Um, you're not going to see this too much. There's the, there's the super villain there. Or a superhero, I should say. And she does some really screwed up stuff. Um, and she come, basically goes to a school because some uh, kid asked her to. And um, she basically plants a bomb for the superhero to uh, disarm. Like, she doesn't care if it's a school full of kids and whatnot. You know, she just doesn't give a crap.
there's an outfit for you. But like I said, this is probably uh, one of the most unique comic books out there. And we'll just... And at some point, the, the civilians turn against her. She does something that they don't like. But I want to show you guys every single thing. Now, she did used to run with a group of supervillains, uh, all girls. And she basically turns on them. That's what that's about. But yeah, um, with this one, I really did like the um, the extra features in the back. You had some really cool uh, art designs of uh, costumes, different kind of costumes that they were going to go for, uh, some sketch stuff. So if you guys can find this, um, oh sorry, the group she was with called the Four Queens. But if you guys can find this volume, this the hardcover, I uh, highly recommend you guys pick this up. You guys might uh, might like it. Uh, the second um, volume is basically she um, gets in a relationship with somebody that she shouldn't, and it's somebody from her past, but she doesn't really know it. And they try to overthrow her. Yeah, so there's all the volumes there. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's seven. So there you go. Yeah, that's it. Do a little quick review. But uh, yeah, for mature readers. So uh, <laughs> beware. But anyway, guys, that's it for this uh, review. Let me know what you guys thought of it and uh, down below in the comment section. If you have read it, let me know what you guys thought. And as always, guys, throw me a like. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do. And as always, guys, I love you and I'll talk to you later.